Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of The Paul Innocent Channel and what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. Well, what a wonderful week it's been. Had some amazing things happen. Uh, I've been very, very lucky this week. Managed to get in a couple more auditions than what I thought I'd get in. It's been fun. Learned some wonderful things, actually. Met up with somebody who taught me some great things about marketing myself as an actor. Well, it's a whole new ball game, this thing. I'll tell you that now. I mean, I've known so many really good actors who just don't have the marketing skills. I urge any actor who's out there asking themselves, why, why, why aren't I getting anywhere, uh, to actually say to themselves, well, should I check my marketing? Because if you haven't got a team of people that's doing it for you, you have to do it yourself. And it's very, very difficult to actually get a handle on what this industry requires from people sometimes. So you really do need to go out on the limb and ask yourself, what's going on? Why aren't I getting anywhere? You know, and take it from there. Uh, so, anyway, uh, on Tuesday, got an audition for a TV commercial. Looking forward to going along, uh, seeing what happens, uh, and um, taking it from there as well. And uh, on Friday, got an audition for a stage play. So I'm looking forward to that, and that'll be an American stage play. So I'll be brushing up my American accent. As you guys know, I do quite well, but right now, the accent I'm using is nowhere near uh, uh, the locality of the show that uh, I'll be playing the role in, should I get the role and be awarded the part. I need to tell you guys something, actually. I've been told, whenever you go to an audition, if the part you're actually auditioning for is set in a certain place, never, ever ever go along and try to imitate the accent from that particular area because that'll go against you uh, should you not actually originally come from that area and 99% of the time as an actor you don't happen to come from those areas so stay away from trying to go directly to that locality accent wise for the audition piece you're using for the role you're going for all right and that's an interesting tip for everybody anyway not a lot else to report this week that's it for this week's episode of The Poor Innocent Channel and what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. Bye bye. I've got two pieces of script here. I just thought I'd uh, have a bit of a sight read session. What do you think? Anyway, here we go. Let's have a look. So the script goes, ha ha ha, Alex, I never ever liked him, and Jackie must need a head tested, thinking Rachel's the culprit. So that's a go. Ha ha ha, Alex, never ever liked him, and Jackie must need her head tested, thinking Rachel's the culprit. We've got a little more here. You two, you couldn't catch a poxy cold. Tell her the going rate for hire of my goons is £250 per hour normally, so I can spare you as long as she's got the money. So here goes. You too? You couldn't catch a poxy cold. Tell her the going rate for hire of my goons is £250 per hour, and I can spare you as long as she's got the cash. What do you say we try some American dialogue? We've got some, Amer we've got some American dialogue here as well. Let's have a look at it. So the line goes... You've not had that flashback for over six years, Sam, so you've done well. So let's have a go. You've not had that flashback for over six years, Sam, so you've done well. Got a bit more dialogue here, obviously American. Um, let's have a look. The line goes, Well, for you, it was real ten years ago. It's completely normal for your body to react like this for years after a miscarriage. Here we go. Well, for you, it was real ten years ago. It's completely normal for your body to react like this for years after a miscarriage. <laughs> there you are. How did I do? 